Okay, we've opened up the uh, 3D picture drawing now. On this drawing here, we need to have a frame uh, layer and we should have a picture layer. So I'm calling it P1 frame, P1 picture. Um, you may, if you're going to do more than one picture, then you're going to have picture two. So the frame could be the same, but the picture should be P2 picture and so on because they're going to be unique materials so we'll be looking at that shortly so for now we'll just start here I'm going to go to my front view and um, what we're going to do is we're going to be creating a profile and we're going to be creating a path and so I'm just going to start by doing the path here we'll be doing this with a polyline starting at 0 comma 0 ortho on so I'm just gonna go in the Y direction the picture is supposed to be four foot by three foot so I'm gonna do a half picture here so this is gonna be two feet and then come across here three feet and then come down two feet so and then enter then I just want to move this up by two feet then when I mirror it, it'll be the lower left-hand corner will be zero zero. So this uh, this is my path. It's a, a polyline. So now I need to create a closed polyline profile. So I'm just going to start off by creating a rectangle, and the rectangle will be four comma four. Okay, sorry. Start that again rectangle start at 0 comma 0 now 4 comma 4 and zoom extents and there it is here so um, if you look in the uh, handout you'll see that we've just sort of created a polyline area in here the exact size is not important we just need to create something so I'm just gonna go from near here to turn my ortho off near here to near here and to near here and then I'll go down to here and then see for close so now I should be able to just erase this and I have this profile here so what I want to do with this profile is I want to move it from 0 comma 0 to this position here. So it's the wrong way so I think I have to mirror it over the other way. Ortho on yes so now it's on the front part so it's this part here is pretty straightforward um, I'm just going to use the extrude command here 3d extrude so it says extrude so select object so I'm gonna select this guy enter and now I'm gonna go P for path P for path I select this guy and you can see over here it's it's all it's basically created its construction so everything's looking really good except for in here now I need to mirror this and I'll mirror it from this end point so this is fine except for we can still see the line here so if we go up to here we have some uh, solid editing and this is called uh, Union so if I click on Union and I select these two objects, they're basically Union together. So now I need to change this from layer 0. I'll put this onto my picture frame. And so now I'm just going to create a little 3D box in the front view from 0, 0. And I want the other corner to be three foot comma four foot 
and I want the thickness. You all, we need a little bit of thickness. We want, so I'll just make this one sixteenth, one sixteenth. And now all I have to do is select it and change this to our picture layer. All right, so things are looking pretty good so far. I am just going to move this from here to zero comma zero so that it's everything is inside that point. This is my insertion point. So now we need to look at our materials. So we'll just click on render and I'm look click on my material browser. And in my material browser, I've already loaded my a cherry wood for my frame, but I need to do uh, a picture. So I'm just going to right click on global and I'm going to duplicate it. And then if I right click on that, I can um, edit this. So when I edit it, I end up with another dialog box. And I'm just going to change this to picture pick one and I need to find an image so I just click in this little image square here and from here I'm just going to look for materials oh, we've got textures here um, I'm just gonna look for some kind of a picture just gonna pause this for a second so I have a picture image here, which I'm just going to select. You can pick any image you want. You can get these from the internet. These should be in a working folder. And now I've got the image in here. I'm going to uh, edit this, so double click on that. And the image here is 12 by 12. So I want that image to be uh, 36 by 48. So I'm gonna unlock this. Uh, image size. So um, I'll just unlock that and I want the width to be 36 and I want the height to be 48 and delete 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 36 by 48 enter so that's good so I'm just gonna go a little further down here and I do not want to tile this just pull this up so you can see what I'm doing here uh, this should be none and this should also be none as well so once I've completed editing this I can close this which is fine close that and um, if I want to I can just change my options here I'll just change this to canvas so it looks a little better and then I should just close this and so now I have my picture here so I'm going to again attach these by layer so we'll just uh, go into materials sorry uh, add by layer so I'm just going to take my cherry wood and put this on my picture frame and pick one over here and say OK and OK let's have a look at put this into realistic if I look at it I think everything is pretty good Not sure why this is looking a little weird, but I think it's okay. It must be just the angle. So it's it's kind of important to create this in this view like this. Um, if you create it and it's twisted, you're going to have trouble with your materials. You may have to play with your mapping, clicking on planar, things like that. So hopefully this is going to work out for you. Um, I'm just going to go to the next one now. So thank you very much and I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you. Bye.